Hello, people of the internet, my name is Johnny, and welcome back to yet another FNAF News video. We just posted one the other day, and we're back yet again with some more topics, all of which are very, very interesting. We got news on the books, we got a lot of news on merchandise, a little bit of game news too with the sister location ports, and also some more Pop Goes Arcade news. I trust you all know the deal at this point if you're new, subscribe to the channel. I know a lot of people watching just keep coming back for FNAF News, and I guarantee you the best way to stay up to date with FNAF news is subscribing to this channel so you don't miss out on anything and also hit the like button. Let's hop into it. Kicking it off with some game news, we got the Sister Location mobile port getting the subtitles update. So now, if you want to play Sister Location on your phone, you have the option to turn on subtitles for 11 different languages. Pop Goes Arcade is back in the news for today because Kane Carter revealed over on Twitter that him and the arcade team has finally submitted the Pop Goes Arcade Steam Point Shop items. These include four animated avatar frames, three animated avatars, one animated pro profile background, one animated mini profile, and one animated sticker. Some of these items we took a look at in the last FNAF news video, and that will be linked down below if you want to go check it out for some more FNAF news. Unclear when these items will be released, but hopefully soon. Moving on now to some anniversary news, if you don't know, FNAF is turning 8 years old in the next coming days on August 8th, and Game Jolt is actually teaming up with Steerwool Studios to hold a celebration. Basically, they're going to be hosting a few streams with prominent members of the Game Jolt FNAF community, and there's also going to be a themed fan art contest, and they say one lucky winner will take home a framed vintage Fredbear poster from Steelwool Studios. I'll leave a link to their post down in the description below if you're interested and want to see a few more details on the event. Moving on now to some book news. We have the official names for the three stories that are going to be in Tales from the Pizzaplex number two, Haps. The first story is called Help Wanted, the second one, Haps, and the third one is B7. And I'll also show off some of the descriptions for these stories so you can kind of get to know what they're going to be about with the title, with the descriptions. Interestingly enough, the cover for the fourth Tales from the Pizzaplex book, Submechaphobia, has been updated and it looks like they've gotten rid of our dear mermaid friend. Though going back to descriptions, we got the official descriptions for Tales from the Pizzaplex 4 and 5. Have you ever experienced a gut feeling that told you something was wrong? Caden senses the under underwater animatronics in Freddy's Fantasy Water Park have a mind of their own. Robbie knows deep down that the minds of the members of the Fazbear fan club have been taken over by something, and Abe can't shake the feeling that the animatronic assistants in his what the heck is this? Fazplex Tower apartment building are hiding things from him. So in the fourth Tales book, we have a another water park. We had one in Felix the Shark. We've got a Fazbear fan club and also a apartment building for FNAF. The description for Tales 5 goes as followed. Would you ever cut corners to get what you want? Outsourcing their storytelling to artificial intelligence comes with an unintended result for the executives of the Fazbear Entertainment Board of directors. Taking some creative liberties in a series of articles for his school newspaper shows Drew that truth really can be stronger than fiction. And Abe's, yes there is a second Abe back-to-back -back books in the Tales series, and Abe's journey to find the first generation animatronics causing trouble for his Bobby Dot home assistants led him to believe he should have never moved into this new apartment. Yup, and now we're also back to apartments. So those are the two new descriptions for some upcoming Tales books. What do you think's going on in these stories? Let me know your theories in the comments down below. And if you thought we were done with Tales, I don't know why you would think that. We got 12 Fazbear Freight books. And it looks like we may end up getting 12 Tales books because Tales number 6 and 7 have been confirmed. With the release dates of May 2nd, 2023 and July 4th, 2023. And speaking of Fazbear Frights, we actually got a lot of previews for the upcoming graphic novel adaptation of some stories into the pit to be beautiful and plush trap chaser in the first volume of the graphic novel series. Someone was actually able to get an early copy of the book, which is why we have so many previews at our disposal. The person who posted these posted a lot, but I'll only show off a select few here. Here are some designs of the brand new plush trap chaser for the out of stock story in the brand new graphic novel. And speaking of previews, one of the upcoming books releasing uh, next month, I think September 20th, 
is the official guide Security Breach Files book, which I actually don't think we've talked about on the channel before, but it's basically a guide to Security Breach, as the title suggests. It looks like it's going to be a little bit different from the Freddy Files because it looks like it'll actually go in order of the events in the game, starting off with 11 p.m., going down the clock 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, with an intro page right here, as you can see a few screenshots of the game, and also a brand new render of Vanessa. Another preview page shows off Glamrock Freddy's About section, and also we have Meet Gregory, which is Gregory's About page. So that does it for all the book news, now let's move on to some merchandise. First up, we got some Security Breach Squishmies, featuring Freddy, Chica, Roxy, Monty, Vanny, and also a sixth Squishmie that we don't actually know who it's going to be, I'd assume it's just going to be like a glow-in-the-dark Vanny, something lame like that. We also have a brand new t-shirt by Funko, which says Five Nights at Freddy's and also features the brand new tie-dye characters of Freddy, Chica, and Foxy. We also got revealed to us the brand new Funko reversible plushies. These were leaked uh, quite a while ago, I'd say a couple months back, but basically they are small uh, head plushies of the FNAF 1 gang, and when you turn them inside out, they actually flip to the Nightmare animatronics. I think this is interesting. I think it's a cute little gimmick. I think the designs look good, actually. Then we have the topic I'm personally most excited about in the merchandise section, because it appears we're getting a wave 2 of the Security Breach Funko Mystery Minis. Now, hopefully this new wave can feature characters like Vanessa, you know, the daycare attendant, basically everyone that we didn't get in wave 1. Burn Trap, maybe the Blob, that'd be cool. Because as we're all well aware at this point, you can see some of them on the shelf, the Mystery Minis for Security Breach that came out, I think it was 2020, only had variants of the uh, main four Glamrock animatronics, and also Vanny. It was a big disappointment, so hopefully this brand new wave can fill those gaps of missed out characters, again like Vanessa, Gregory, can't forget about him, the daycare attendant, I just, there are so many characters that they could do, and I really, really hope we can get a diverse group of characters in this brand new wave. We also got a listing for the Circus Freddy Funko Pop, which is a part of that circus slash balloon characters that we still don't really know what they're for. The listing, interestingly, still says SB, Security Breach, and it was also revealed that when these guys were leaked, they were still tagged as Security Breach merchandise. So how exactly these guys connect to Security Breach? Are we going to see them in the upcoming Ruin DLC? A lot of people are also speculating that they are these characters that we got revealed to us on the FNAF subreddit as scrapped characters a little while ago. We don't know. We're just going to have to wait and see, but it's super, super interesting. What are your theories? And finally, we got some U2's news to go over. First up, the other day, U2's tweeted out this image, showing off a bunch of their U2's figures as a sort of select your character screen for for a fighting game. And some of the characters are interesting. First up, as I'm sure you've already seen, Ignited Freddy is featured, our first good look at him. And also below Ignited Freddy, you can see a brand new Markiplier figure. You can see him sitting atop a throne. A lot of people are speculating that this could be a King of FNAF Markiplier figure. In my personal opinion, I don't think it's going to be that. It could just be a classic King Markiplier figure with him sitting atop a throne. I'm just not really seeing any FNAF resemblance, so I don't think we should jump to conclusions, though I would love a King of FNAF figure. And finally, this last topic was a tough one to include because we weren't supposed to see it, but frankly, it's all over the place that if I didn't show it off, a lot of people would just spam the comments saying, hey, you forgot about this thing, you forgot about this thing. So I'm going to show it off. Basically, Deregular Sauce, I'm sure you've seen his incredible Glamrock Freddy cosplays. U2 sent them a few U2's products that we weren't supposed to see a full picture of, and he accidentally posted the full picture, so I feel bad showing it off. But again, it's all over the place. So this is it. As you can see, not only did Deregular Sauce get the uh, some fanverse figures of Ignited Freddy and Pop Goes, he also got sent some brand new plushies of the Security Breach kit characters. Glamrock Freddy, Montgomery, and also Roxanne. Interestingly enough, we're missing Chica. Poor Chica got left out, but I'd assume they're also making a plushie of her. Yeah, it sucks that this got leaked. I do feel bad, but these are the brand new plushies of 
of some security breach characters coming i'd imagine pretty soon if they're shipping them out to some people to tease and that is all the fnaf news i have for you guys today another packed lineup of fnaf news tell me what are you most looking forward to a lot of interesting previews of some upcoming books a very interesting look at some brand new merchandise especially those security breach plushies i think they look amazing and adorable well, that's gonna do it thank you so much for watching and i'll see you all on the flip side goodbye